Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to replace the expansion valve, the receiver dryer, and how to charge the AC system of a W220 car with a fresh uh, refrigerant. In the process you'll have to start uh, by removing the wiper arms. It's important to clog the wiper arms before removing any of the nuts. I do that by sticking painter's tape aligned to the edges of both wiper arms. Um, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket and some needle nose pliers or a long reach hose grip pliers to hold one of the bolts in place as you undo the nut. Uh, else the nut will keep, a, keep a spinning and not let you remove the wiper arm. When you put it back together, you will need someone's assistance to hold the wiper arm, uh, not the blade, uh, aligned to the markers, in this case the painter's tape, uh, while you hold the bolt with uh, pliers in one hand and tighten the nut with, uh, with the other. I think I'll make this um, multi-part series since um, summer is right around the corner in the U.S. and um, uh, <clears throat> viewers may, um, those who need to do this type of work, uh, probably could benefit from it sooner than later and editing takes time. So instead of waiting to edit the entire video which would otherwise also be a long video uh, to just produce one. I'd rather just do multiple parts and uh, publish them as soon as um, I've finished editing them, which is really, that's what takes the longest time editing these videos, recording the videos, than the actual work. <laughs> And this is the bolt uh, that, that needs the hose grip pliers. Uh, so after removing that, uh, the rain repellent or deflector needs to be moved, uh, removed um, in order to reveal the wiper motor assembly, which needs to be removed in order to get to the ex expansion valve that's hidden behind it. Uh, the rain def uh, deflector is held by four plastic fasteners um, uh, in the bottom side and a very tight perforation below the windshield glass on the top side. So first remove the four fasteners. If you lose them or they're broken, uh, purchase you can purchase a set of uh, 240 fasteners of all kinds from Harbor Freight for 13 bucks. I will have that in the description. If they don't come out, force a flat head of screwdriver under to make uh, room to insert a, uh, some hose pliers underneath and uh, to force them out. Uh, you'll need a Phillips uh, screwdriver to, to remove them. Uh, if you don't own a set of uh, trim and mold um, removal tool, you must you must get one for uh, because it's so cheap. Six dollars from Harbor Freight in the U.S. I think the set has five tools. I'm using uh, one of them to lift along the upper edge, starting from the passenger side, while pulling up and out the rain deflector. Uh, depending on when when this is done, in this case it's a 23 years old car, uh, a lot of dirt and um, debris gets there, helped by the heat. Um, it turns into a hard glue and makes it hard to remove. But uh, stay at it and it will ev eventually come out. Once you remove one end just a little bit, then you can start sort of pulling up and out at the same time, all along to the right side, and it will come out. This is probably uh, the hardest part of this job, short of, uh, you know, the 
the little hex um, uh, hex uh, bolts that connect the expansion valve to the evaporator inlet, uh, which you'll see in, in a little while. This is what, what goes inside the, the groove um, right below the windshield right here. And it's a tight fit. And once you've removed that, then that's the wiper assembly that needs to be removed. Um, it's held in place uh, by four 10 millimeter nuts. Remove all four and um, they easily come out. The motor is on the back side. Once this is removed, we can finally reveal the expansion valve. Uh, it helps to have a set of um, socket extensions, but uh, not really necessary. Um, it will make the job easier on your back, I guess, if you have extension uh, socket extensions. And I'll have that in the description too. I don't think they're very expensive. And this is the the last of the four, uh, and right underneath this nut there is a washer. Uh, that you have to remove and underneath that there is a gnarled nut don't twist it or the incline angle of the wiper system gets changed so uh, don't touch anything underneath the motor and I, I didn't show uh, there's a connector to you just uh, I'll, I'll show that here in a second that connector you know where you see the electric wires that has to be removed uh, first the plug has to be removed it's got two taps on two sides it's a big plug it's very easy to remove that and it can be removed even before the rain deflector is removed or afterwards it's easier but if you if you forget and you install the rain deflector uh, at the end uh, then you don't have to remove the deflector in order to plug it in you can do it even with the deflector in place And so I have the instructions here uh, from the Mercedes-Benz workshop manual in case you need to replace the motor itself. Uh, I'm not doing that, of course, in this video. But um, uh, there are these bowls, uh, I think three of them, uh, nine uh, Newton meters, and, and then there's a nut that you need to remove at uh, 19 newton, newton meters that um, you'll have to torque back. Uh, it's pretty simple to remove the motor and replace it. Uh, 